Welcome to the Frankenmuth Woolen Mill, which was established in 1894 and has been producing many of the same products in much the same way for well over a hundred years. Over the next few minutes, you will witness the fascinating process of turning sheep's fleece into wool roving and batting. Wool arrives at the mill from sheep farmers and fiber artists from everywhere in the United States, from California to New York and Montana to Texas, as well as Michigan and the rest of the Midwest. The wool is then recorded, weighed, and tagged to ensure that customers are receiving their own wool back after processing. When wool comes in from our customers, um, it comes in from sheep farmers and fiber artists all over the nation, and it's very important to them that they receive their own fiber back after processing. So because of that, when it comes in, we, we check their wool in in a special uh, receiving area, and then we tag each bag with the customer's name, address, and what they want to have done with the wool. After processing, the wool is taken to be washed in cast iron bathtubs using a mild detergent and water heated to 180 degrees for about an hour, with workers taking special care not to twist or wring the wool, which can cause the wool to shrink or felt. A pitchfork is then used to move the wool around so as to loosen the dirt and oil. After that, the wool is extracted and then rinsed and spun to remove most of the excess moisture. The wool is then placed on one of our mini drying racks where it'll dry for three to four days depending on the time of the year. The mill is capable of drying over 500 pounds of wool each day. Now after the wool is clean and dried, it's put on the picker, which is preparing it for carding. The picking process opens up the fiber, takes out a lot of the mats and but it also helps let out some of the vegetable matter that's in the fiber, and this makes it easier to run through the carting machine. The wool is raked out of the picker room and once again bagged with the customer's identification tag inside the bag and sent to the carting room for processing. The wool is then put into a feed box, which then puts it onto an apron and then onto a roller covered with spike-like tongs. As the roller moves, each tong pulls and opens the wool for processing. The carting process involves the fiber traveling down the feed table. It then enters a series of rollers, and these rollers comb the fiber out, which helps get the vegetable matter out, and also helps remove some of the mats of the fiber. So they lay almost parallel to each other. And then as it passes through the front, it comes off in a web, which is used either for roving or for batting. Roving is a long, thin tube of wool, also called a roll log and is what hand spinners use to spin wool into yarn. Batting is a blanket sized piece of wool that can be cut to any size or weight to become the fluffy warm filling inside cozy comforters, pillows, and mattress pads. When making batting, the batting drum is attached to the carding machine and the web catches the drum creating batting. Once the wool has become the desired weight, the wool is then pulled off the drum, fluffed to the requested size, and trimmed. The customer's tag is then once again placed inside the bag with the finished product and is sent to the shipping room or the tying room to be made into a comforter. In the tying room, workers hand tie comforters by stretching the wool batting between beautiful cotton fabrics over a quilting frame. Tying off is a procedure used to keep the wool in place for future washings and usage. After the comforter is tied, the edges are sewn to complete the comforter making process. All Frankenmuth Woolen Mill wool comforters are made with natural fibers using 100% cotton covering and 100% wool filling. They compare favorably to down in lightness and warmth and are washable. In addition, they don't clump or mat. Wool has millions of microscopic air pockets that provide insulation to maintain perfect body heat and spares uneven cold spots. Because of the unique structure of wool, many of our customers who suffer from arthritic pain or fibromyalgia believe that wool helps relieve discomfort and provides them with the best quality sleep. In addition, wool is naturally hypoallergenic and repels dust mites. Anybody who has an allergy sleeps comfortably under a wool comforter, um, and because it's so natural, it breathes just like cotton or any other natural fiber, so you remain perfectly comfortable when you lay under a wool comforter. The Frankenmuth Woolen Mill can make a comforter from any fabric you choose, whether you pick from our selection or send us your own. 
We also make coordinating pillow shams, balances, and dust ruffles for a truly unique look. People can come into the Wool Comforter Shop and we'll custom make a comforter for them in any size up to 118 inches by 118 inches. You can bring in your own fabric. You can choose from our selection. Um, the choices are completely up to you. Although much of the mill is as it was through the decades, it has seen some changes. For example, one of our oldest carding machines and the machine we use to process wool for our own shop comforters was built in the 1870s and installed in the mill in the 1930s. It is still run by the same line shaft in the ceiling, which was steam driven as early as 1977. Since that time, it was converted to electric power. However, it serves the same purpose since the mill was founded in 1894. In 2000, the Frankenmuth Woolen Mill expanded to an adjacent warehouse where two additional carding machines were added to keep up with growing demand. We currently process over 30,000 pounds of wool a year. One of our newest carding machines, built in the 1940s, is a single breaker card that is excellent for fine fibers such as Angora, mohair, alpaca, and other exotic fibers. Running next to that card is our double breaker card. It combs the wool twice as much and is excellent for orders of over 100 pounds, making it possible for us to offer a volume discount. The Frankenmuth Woolen Mill is steeped in history. Through the century, it has changed and adapted for the times, yet has never lost its roots, its place in our community, and its importance to the area. The Frankenmuth Woolen Mill has served its customers for over 100 years with a reputation of old world quality and personal service.